Afrobeats is what a lot of talentless people hide behind. Come on, rugged man now. How would you say Afrobeat is for talentless people? I think this guy is about to start a beef within the industry right now. And a lot of people quite agree with this guy. Why some other persons are saying, man, never says that. You can't say you are better than the likes of Two-Face Edivia, the likes of Burner Boy Whiskey, and a lot of others in terms of music because these guys they know what they are doing when you find yourself in a particular genre you can exalt your genre but you cannot achieve that by putting other people down you can become strong by weakening other people that is what it is for rugged man i think rugged man this time around you got it all twisted because a lot of people are not going to be happy with you that is what i can really tell you about this how would you say afrobeat is for talentless people you are calling the lies of fella not having talent that is one thing you need to understand when you are a rap artist you have to focus on that if you want to focus on that allow people doing other genres to enjoy what they are doing they got talent that is one thing i can really say he said this at a recent interview and a lot of people are not quite agreeing with this person let's catch a glimpse of what he said at that interview when you ask me what afro is mm -hmm. i'll tell you Afrobeats is what a lot of talentless will hide behind. Do you quite agree with Rugged Man? Put that in the comment section. For me, I don't really agree with Rugged Man on that. He needs to actually say I'm sorry to people uh, doing Afrobeat out there. Remember when Don Jazzy actually made reference to rappers out there? Idris Abdukarin came at Don Jazzy. But right now, Rugged Man is making reference to Afrobeat artists out there. That is not really, really impressive enough i think is offensive to an extent david o has started the controversy on social media right now he made a tweet which a lot of people are really responding to he said i suppose relocate but i want buy belgium and a lot of people are saying what are you really 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 talking about because you don't hire b how can you say you buy a whole country why some other persons are saying he go fit i believe that yes he's being braggadocious about it when you look your bank account man you will feel say i make i talk anything make people yours you know kind of a talk that is what the video is really doing at this time the video was in spain you know out there with a lot of um, you know football players and also attended a party in Spain where he was gifted the rulers rich watch and also gifted a bottle of Martel very expensive from the CEO of Martel that is Martel Giron actually gifted the video a bottle and that is to appreciate the video for influencing Martel in Africa Martel has gotten a reputation in Africa all thanks to the video at a time like this Rema is coming out to talk about how he became successful in the music industry according to Rema he said I know how to sing I know how to walk and I still know how to hustle. These are the three things that make Rema within the music industry. It's not all about singing. You have to work hard. You have to still, you know, hustle out there and put your music out there. That is what it is right here. And that is what Rema is actually making a lot of people, especially the upcomers in the industry, to understand at a time like this. Let's catch a glimpse. I have the hustle spirit. A lot of people know how to sing. A lot of people know how to sing and hustle. You know, some people just leave the hustle for labor or their team. For me, I know how to sing, how to work, and how to hustle alongside my team. What do you have to say about Rema's coming out to say I know how to sing? Do you think Rema does not know how to sing? Put that in the comment section. But I believe that Rema is the future leader of Afrobeat right now in uh, Nigeria and in Africa at large because this guy has one of the biggest songs in the world called Countdown Remix by Rema featuring Selena Gomez. I think that is one of the biggest songs right there and a lot of people can really attest to that based on the tallies this is grossing in lately. Davido's bouncer Lati is facing a backlash right now. Remember that a video of him slapping somebody made it to the social media. The person just wanted to take a video or a picture of uh, him and Davido and Lati didn't allow the person almost punch the person in the face and all those kind of things a lot of people are saying that is quite offensive and assaulting to an extent and lati at the end of the day decided to transfer two hundred thousand naira to this guy 
to pacify this guy and a lot of people are taking it personal right now on social media and then lati is going for it at the time he's been dragged to pieces on social media we have various comments coming in from a lot of people on twitter on this what is your own take about that sometimes most people they don't respect the privacy of celebrities and that is really offensive to an extent but somehow lati overreacted that is what a lot of people can really agree to at a time like this. Somebody came out to say Olamide and Kiss Daniel are the only Nigerian artists who does not chase the Western validation. Do you quite agree with these guys? To an extent, I quite agree because you know I've not seen Olamide uh, being uh, you know chasing uh, Western validation. I've not seen Kiss Daniel doing that. These guys are really happy within their own cycle, and that is really helping them out to an extent. I think I will call it satisfaction and it's a level you get into and you enjoy everything about you that is what it is but a lot of people are saying that these guys they don't need western validation to say that they are big artists what is your own take about them i want you to leave that in the comment section i see many struggling for money that is coming in from kwame eugene he said this i've seen many people struggling for money and fame and when they get there they will see that these things does not matter to an extent and a lot of people are saying that maybe we first get the money and fame first before we understand what you they try to talk i think this guy is talking from his own personal experiences and and then a lot of people that are not in his shoe will not really understand right here. What is your own take about my video so far? I want you to put that in the comment section. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting Afrobeat blog. <laughs> Thank you, boss. <laughs> Cesar strikes again. <laughs> Please open it. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Cesar strikes again. <laughs> Please open it. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Cesar strikes again. <laughs> Please open it. 